module 10 project reports now say after you have prepared a microsoft project file or prepared a whole project in microsoft project and your client or your boss says that please give me a report on the entire project so now you need to convert the whole file into a report form so that it's easily understandable and without any ambiguity from the actual data so microsoft project 2010 has an excellent feature to convert the directly project into report which you can take a print or convert it as a pdf and then send over to your client or your boss or any other person who requires it so now we will learn how to do that in order to do that you need to first of all go on to project over here and you can go on to reports over in this tab now you have different options available overview of the project current costs assignment workload and customs so if you look onto the overview tab select this and just click on select now it gives various ready templates what you want project summary top level task critical task milestone working days let's select critical task and press select so now this is a report of the critical tasks as of saturday 26 10 2013 respectively so this is the entire report on it you can directly print the report by giving print or you can convert it into pdf if you have an adobe, adobe pdf installed you can select adobe pdf over here and when you will give print it will convert into a pdf file so this is how it works now suppose if we want to see the assignment of resources we can click on assignment select who does what who does what and when or allocated resources to do list we have many options so let's see who does what and when and clicking on select we can see that entire report again and you can take a print or convert into pdf as you want now suppose if you want to make a customized report as per your requirements then microsoft project 2010 also provides that option you can click over here on customs and go to select and create a new type of report now it asks which type of report do you want task resource monthly calendar or so so let's select a task and click on ok it will ask for the name of the report let's write learning report now we need to select a period that we want for entire period or months or weeks or whatever we want so let's select entire period table now show summary task gray bands whatever you can click on this if you require all these things or not if you don't require let's click on this now what details we want to include suppose if we include predecessors if we from task we want to include as predecessors from assignment we want to include cost and if you further want to sort it you can click over here and sort by respectively so once done press ok now we have a learning report over here you can see here in this tab and by selecting it it would generate a report as per our customization that we have provided so this is how you can generate different reports now suppose you want to generate the same report in say microsoft excel or microsoft visual similarly you can go over to this tab under project that is visual reports click over here select whatever you want suppose i want to see the task summary or suppose say resource usage report or say assignment summary or say resource summary if i want to this type of resource show the report template created in it we have option microsoft excel or microsoft visio let's say you want to get it into excel then you need to uncheck this and just press view on viewing pressing view it will take a bit of time and convert the same thing as in a form of a graph and a data in microsoft excel so this is all working with and preparing reports in microsoft project 2010 now say you may want to give a predecessor relationship between project 1 and project 3 over here so the one step is to do is to click on this bar hold it and drag it in place it where I required suppose I want to link it over here or here or whatever I can do it and the other way of doing it is suppose I want to say that this project is after project say C of project 1 so I can click over here I can type the whole path of the file that is c slash users slash yash slash desktop 
slash my works slash then I need to type the project file that is project one dot mpp slash and finally I need to write this number that is number three and press enter so now you can see the file has been connected in this sequence very respectively now suppose again I want to repeat the same thing what I will do is I will copy the whole thing and I will paste it over here and make the respective changes as required suppose I want to link it with project 2 I will write project 2 and here I will write 4 So there is some problem establishing a relationship over here. So on making it auto schedule, we can see that we can accomplish it. So this was a minor problem during working, and you may also encounter some of these. So you need to identify the problems and try to work out on it. Now, suppose if you want to similarly add another predecessor to the same you may again write the whole path after separating it by a comma after the previous path has been completed so this is how you connect the different files in Microsoft Project 2010 now we need to add resources here again as we did previously that is to go to resource pool share resources use resources from select the resource pool dot mpp file and press ok so now the resources are again being connected with this file too now making change in any one of the files that is now if we say we have connected the three files of projects with one file of resource and finally club all of them into one single file so now making change in any one of the file will also make the changes in all the files let's see if we just press on save over here it would ask do you want to save changes yes and we have option yes to all yes no no to all and cancel so now whatever decision you make will be made on all the existing files so let's say yes to all so the changes made in this file have been reflected in all the profiles that are linked with this so this is all about combining files in microsoft project 2010 and resource pooling